Hey, Firehats. Hey, I hope that everyone is enjoying their Sunday or when you do view this message, I hope that you are enjoying your day. Um, I wanted to just jump on really, really quick. Um, I see good fortune, relief, and past life here. I see lucky. I see power. Um, so listen, um, as I was sitting outside, um, catching those good old downloads from the, from the birds, because I am a bird watch. I love birds. So as I was catching those downloads from the birds, uh, airplane, uh, flew over the house and it was going up, which lets me know that it was taking off from the airport. Correct? Correct. So... Then I began to hear the voice um, saying, when a airplane takes off, it takes off against the wind. Okay. So, okay, let's go. Let's go do a little research and see what this is. What is this about this airplane that's taking off against the wind? And why is it taking off against the wind? And why is it necessary for the plane to take off against the wind? And how does that relate to my life? Or how does that relate to my collective's life? That airplane takes off against the wind because it's, it's catching speed to propel itself forward. Right? And that's just like your life. There may have been some things that were against you from the time you stepped foot on this earth. Okay, there have been some things that were against you. And every time you tried to push forward, you weren't doing nothing but propelling your spirituality forward, propelling your blessings forward. Okay. Even though the, the wind was going against you, you still was moving forward and not giving up. There is about to be good fortune that comes into your life. There is, but then on top of that good fortune comes jealousy. There is going to be jealousy. I could be talking to a water sign. Could be talking to someone who loves to read. Someone who like just stays at the library, if you ask me. Like you always at the library or always at Barnes and Noble. With this good fortune is going to come a little jealousy. It's already there. The jealousy is already there anyways. Okay, but they jealous at your creativity. They jealous at how you always overcome. They jealous at your beauty. You hear me? Now the jealousy is going to go to another level because they're going to be jealous at your acclaim. They're going to be jealous at your money. They're going to be jealous about the things that you have that they have that they don't have. Definitely, definitely going to be definitely jealous of your divinity. Jealous, I mean, super, super envious of your divinity. There is about to be some type of form of message that comes through. Magic is on the bottom of the deck. This is coming up because they are doing it right now. Someone is trying to um, affect your stability in your home. I could be talking to an earth sign, but someone is desperately trying to affect your stability in your home. It ain't going to work. It ain't going to work because you on you on your you on your karmic path. You are on your north node. Yes, you are in your north node. Could be talking to a water sign. Ain't nothing but stability is going to be for you. Not instability. Ain't nothing but luck is going to come to you. Not unlucky. Because you're, you're doing the job that you're supposed to do. You're being the person that you're supposed to be. And though you're not perfect. No, you're not perfect. No one is perfect, baby. Shift, transformation, and transmute. All this, all this, all this magic, that magic that we've seen, all you're doing is transmuting it. You're transmuting it so you can shift into autopilot. So you can shift into autopilot. 
Yeah, you you may have had to push through the, the wind, the wind that was coming against you, the winds of life, the winds of people doing magic and all that extra shit in the background. You may have had children early. You may have been abused. You may have not had a good upbringing. You may have lost jobs, lost homes, been evicted. All kind of shit has come against you. But this is the time and this is now that you are about to walk into a moment of good fortune. And that is good fortune in every realm of your life. Your home, your love, and your finances. These three areas that people try to work against, you still getting your shit. You still going to get it. And they going to be mad. They going to be mad. There's definitely about to be some type of message come through here. Now, what that message is, I don't know, honey. But there is about to be a message that comes through. I see sudden wealth. Mm -hmm. False person, keep one. That's that false person. Ain't nobody but that. But the um motherfucker trying to do spell work. They ass gonna be left in, in in the cold and sick and everything. There is about to be an uh, some unexpected income. I do not know how, when, or where. But this sudden wealth is not going nowhere. It's clarifying good fortune. Mature woman and main female. You are the main female. This mature woman is the bitch been doing the magic. Her ass is about to... You hear me? You hear me? You might as well go ahead and go get your 40. This was for my home ass. You hear me? And pour a little bit out for that bitch. On, for, on this gangster lean. Because that's what's about to happen to her ass. You hear me, your ancestors and your avenging angels about to gangster lean on her ass. So you might as well go ahead and pour a little bit out for her. Go on, get your 40. Go on, go get a 40. You hear me? This main female, which is you, you about to get blessed, honey, in a way that you ain't never been blessed before. You about to be privileged. You, because you are high honored. They didn't want this for you. They was jealous that you were privileged and high honored. And there's about to be a message from this goddamn official person who is not near you, but his, but his feelings, his feelings, he's ready to bring his feelings. He's ready to, I'm hearing his feelings. I don't know what that is. He's ready to bring his feelings near you. This official person is about to send you a message. And this message, baby, it's going to put your ass on top with sudden wealth, main female, unexpected income. And whoever this bitch is doing this spell work, her ass is going to be fucking hurting. She ain't going to know what to do. She going to shit on herself. She going to fucking shit on herself. Because, bitch, whatever you buy, girl, buy, I don't even want to look over there at that hoe. She, she going to shit on herself. How about that? Because you finally on your path. You are walking your north node. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Message of concern. Imprisonment. Mm-hmm. She thought she thought that's what she was gonna do for you. She thought she was gonna stop this. Ooh, it's something big about to come in, y'all. It's something big about to come in. And listen, this ma mature man. Is clarifying official person. Expectation is is clarifying privileged lady and high honor. You, it's time for you to be and look at how this look look how this um. Let me show y'all. This is something that was promised to you as a child. Whatever is about to come in. This is this is a spiritual decree that was promised to you as a child. Is what I'm hearing. But look how that woman is looking at that money. 
she is expecting that bankroll to come in, honey. She, she, any day now is what I heard. Any day now, any day now, any day now. So if I were you, I'd go ahead and start thanking the most high for whatever he's about to bring in for the good fortune, for the unexpected income, for the sudden wealth, for the high honor. You hear me? This official person does not have to be a lover. This official person could just be someone who is about to, who is just official. I'm hearing it's like a work thing. Whoever it is, they are official enough to give you this money. They are official enough. That's what I'm hearing. So it does not necessarily mean that this has to be a lover or someone who's admiring you. This could just be someone from afar that feels like they have to invest in you. I'm hearing invest in you. I'm hearing that you ain't got to do a damn thing. Whoever this person is, it has been laid on their heart to give to you. It's been, I mean, it's like it came in a dream. Here it is. This is gift to this person. Invest in this person, so into this person, this official person here. It could be someone wanting to just invest in you. It does not have to be someone interested in being with you as far as love, okay? And I'm here to tell you, whoever it is, they, they done got spoken to. So did spirit came straight to him and said, look at here, this is what we're going to do. This young lady is in need of help. I need you to take this chance on her because when you take this chance on her, it's going to open up doors for you. Not only is it going to open up doors for you, it's going to bring fresh beginnings and freedom for you when you invest into this person. When you invest into this main female, mm -hmm. with this fool, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Holy Spirit, clarify. Clarify. We got nine of pentacles. Told you. Mm. And that's who you are, this main female. You're somebody that's independent. You're someone that I mean, you going through something. I know. I feel it because I am too. But I feel it. Okay, I feel as a collective, there's a lot of you going through things where money is tight. And that's because someone has been working on your money. They've been doing magic in the background on your money. I promise and your stability, but it ain't going nowhere. But whoever you are, there's about to be enough sufficiency for you with this nine of pentacles. You are about to be rewarded for your efforts and fighting through the wind when you took off, when you got in your plane of life and you put that helmet on. I don't know why I just said helmet, but you put that captain's head on. Okay. You push through the adversity. You push through the wind so that you can be an autopilot. Look at that airplane. When a plane takes off, it takes off against the wind. Okay? So that it can propel itself forward and go into autopilot and have a smooth flight. That's just like your life. When you took off, you had to go against the wind. You had to. You had to be bold. You had to be optimistic with this king of wands. Because if you didn't, you would have failed. You would have never reached the honor that you are supposed to have here on earth before you leave this earth. Oh, yes, baby. Your name is going to ring loud for decades and age, even after this earth shall perish. Your name still will ring in the new earth. In the new earth. You are about to be materially secure. You are about to be rewarded. Because you didn't give up. You, you stay resilient with this nine of wands here. You stayed optimistic and in control of your 
baby, y'all see this plane? You stayed in control. Look at that. Even when it seemed like it was all over the place. You see how that, that smoke looked like a zigzag maybe had went all over the place. Yeah. You still stayed in the air, though. You still stayed in the air, baby. You still stayed high, baby. You still flying high, baby. They can't touch you. I get high. I get high. I get high. I got to stay fly. I, 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 I. Okay? And they mad. They mad because... <laughs> They mad because you are because you are a divine motherfucking feminine. You more than you are a divine feminine. They mad because you graceful. They mad because you talented. They mad because you beautiful, baby. They mad because you are a goddamn leader with big visions. And look, and they know you about to get this reward. The the them the motherfuckers been doing the spell. They know you about to get this reward. That's why they ass trying to move on to calmer waters. With this six of swords here at the bottom of the deck, they try to move on to calmer waters, thinking that if I go ahead and move on right now, I won't my karma won't be as bad. But baby, your karma finna eat your ass up. You hear me? I'm trying to tell you, y'all better go ahead and get your 40s ready because you're gonna have to pull it out for your homie. You're gonna have to pour it out for your homie. I see judgment, two of swords. Yeah. Clarify expectation. Nope. Sorry. Clarify jealousy. I'm sorry, Holy Spirit. Clarify jealousy. Six of Wands is what's trying to pop out with this jealousy. Yeah, yeah, they finna be mad. They finna be mad because your ass is finna be on top, baby. You getting this reward. You getting this money that they tried to keep from you, that they tried to take from you energetically, spiritually. You about to get this money. You about to get this new beginning. You about to have this success, this victory, and this recognition. Yes, the fuck you is. This it's a message is coming in. It's a message coming in within the next five, within the next six days. The next six days, there's some type of form of message coming in that is going to change your fucking world. It is going to put a completion on this shit right here. This bitch right here, this right here is going to put a completion on that. It's going to dead that shit. And not only is it going to dead that, it, it's going gonna, it's gonna to bring you whole. It's going to make you whole. It's going to make you whole. You hear me? It's going to make you whole. It's going to give you harmony. Yeah. You finally going to get the recognition from the spiritual realm that you deserve. The spiritual realm is getting ready to recognize you. We ain't talking about nothing in the natural. It's going to flow to the natural. But this, 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 this gift is coming straight from the spiritual realm. You are about to be recognized. And let me tell you something. When God shines a light on you, baby, can't nobody dim that motherfucker. Can't nobody dim that light when God shines that light on you. And he is about to, let me, what God give it, no man can take it away. And he about to give it to you and can't nobody take it away. And that's why they looking. That's why they over here with this um expectation is under this jealousy. They sitting up there expecting with this concern. Yeah, because they know everything they did didn't work. It's dead, bitch. You can't do nothing. Ten of swords at the bottom of the deck. Mm-hmm. The hyphen and the strength. It sure is. It's, it's sure enough about to put your ass on top. You about to have so much self-confidence that come in with this strength card. Baby, when I tell you. Mm -mm. Clarify this hyphen, Holy Spirit. Clarify hyphen. The chariot and the nine of cups. Yep. This is your gift from the spiritual realm. Because you chose to, 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 to move into a different realm of knowledge. 
to move into a more spiritual realm of knowledge with this Hierophant. You chose to be more successful, not conform to what you have always known or been taught. You chose to discipline yourself with this chariot. Baby, I'm trying to tell you. Clarify message. What tap what 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 is this message that is coming through, Holy Spirit? The eight of Pentacles. Somebody want to work with you. I'm trying to tell you, whoever it is, somebody loves your skills. They love your talent. This is a king of pentacles. This mature man, this official person is a king of pentacles. He loves your skills. He loves your talent. He loves your commitment and your dedication to your talents and your skills, whatever you may do. And he feels like you are accomplished enough for him to invest in you. But I'm trying to tell you right now, the spirit told him to invest in you. This, the spirit told him to invest in you and it's going to be hefty. The five of swords. I don't know why that's here. That's the message coming through. Somebody is, is just co completely loving your skills. Continue to um, clarify, Holy Spirit. I've seen three of pentacles. I've seen eight of wands. Communication to work with you is coming through. Continue to clarify. Four of pentacles. Somebody, mm -hmm, because listen, three of cups. The four of pentacles is about holding on, being tight, being frugal, right? But it's also about materialism. And it's also about stability and saving your money. This person is going to also help you with that. They're going to help you with that. It's just something about you working with this person. It's going to be some type of um, social event that this person is going to want you to help him with. Some type of gathering, some type of social event that this person feels like your gifts would just be perfect for this. Like he doesn't see anybody else doing this but you. Spirit won't let him see nobody else doing it but you. And this going to put you in the spotlight. It's really going to highlight you with this sun here on this three of cups. It's going to be a big celebration because it's going to be a very successful event. And people are going to be just talking about you, how talented you are, how skillful you are. This Ten of Swords and Ace of Pentacles uh, popped out, but let's see why this Ten of Swords is here. Why is this Ten of Swords here? Get another deck. Why is this Ten of Swords here? Five of Swords. Somebody, this, I don't know who this is, but whoever it is, Cause some wants to, it's just it's you it's you I just heard it's you, so you're 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 becoming you're starting to become bitter. You feel like everything, um, that happens to you always comes to a dead end. You're never able to reach a goal. And you're feeling like you just want to just lay your swords down and give up. But don't give up because that's what this witch who been doing spell work. It's your fucking mama or your Amy. I'm just here to let you know. Whoever this is been doing spell work. That's what they want you to do. They want you to put down both your swords. They only got one sword left. You see that? They only got one sword left. You still holding on to both of yours. They want you to put your swords down. 
They want you to give up. They want you to feel victimized because you like God. I'm going to I'm I'm steady up in this air, but I ain't getting blessed by you. Like I'm I'm I seeing just little trinkets. I'm not seeing the true fruits of my labor, God. That's what they want you to do. They want you to give your swords up. They want you to lay down and feel victimized and bitter. So all the things that are built up for you can collapse and you never come into them in this lifetime. No, that's not how it's going to happen. God said, no, I got you covered, baby. With this Ace of Pentacles, I got you covered. There are about to be new opportunities, plenty of resources, plenty of abundance and security and stability in your life. And everything you speak shall manifest. So be very mindful of your words. And there's about to be judgment called on these people. And not only judgment called in the spiritual realm, but judgment in the natural. Their, their veil is going to be unveiled. What they've been doing is going to be unveiled. And they are going to have to walk the green motherfucking mile. Walk in the green mile. Walk in the green mile is what they're going to have to do. That and it want to pop back out again. That shift, yeah. I think I'm gonna go ahead and end this here, and I'm just gonna let you guys know that there is definitely about to be a giant, a gigantic reward coming your way because you was God's ride or die. You are God's ride or die, baby, and He got a big old blessing waiting for you. Mark my words. I hope this message helps. If you like the way I read, if you like the way I channel messages, please hit the like, comment, or subscription button. Thank you.